Welcome to uh, the very first tutorial of the crossover charts. Um, this time around we will go through the very basics of how to use this program. Uh, so the first thing we will want to do is to create a new element. An element can be a cell, can be an area for dagger board or for stacking or for anything you can think of. So here we go. I'm going to click on tools, new, cell element. This will prompt me for a configuration window and I can then change the color of my shape, for instance, and a number of other things. Um, I will also start out by giving it a new name and call it cell 1. I will also make sure that the control points option visible is checked. Right, I now click OK and this has created a shape arbitrarily in the center of the screen. It's called cell 1 and as you can see it does have the control points visible. So this is where I can start and changing the shape. Here we go. Now I might not have enough control points so what I do there I will right click on one of those control points click add and this will add another control point and here we go I can move it around again. Right. Um, when the uh, crossover gets a bit crowded you might need to move the label around as well so I just go over mouse over the label and left click it and move it to wherever we want now that I'm done with this I will I would like to hide those control points so I'll go back on the menu I can actually on the sorry on the label double the click on this and click control points unselect visible here we go this is our first shape Right. As you see, when I move my cursor around, if you look at the top of the window, this always indicates me where I am in terms of true in speed and true in angle. So I can check that my shape is placed correctly with whatever reference I have. Um, this cell is also appears in the cell and elements menu here on the right, and it's currently in a group called Other. That's not such a nice name, so I might rename this by right-clicking on there, click Rename on the group, and call it Sales. Here we go. Right, well this is, we have a first shape now, you can create any number of shapes this way. I'll create a Sale 2 for instance, leave it red, call it Sale 2, and I might decide to put it in the group of Sales as well. And here we go, I'm going to move this shape around, put it where I want. Um, another type of shapes uh, that I can build is a line, for instance, if you want to plot out reefs. Now, as I've showed, I haven't showed you this, but basically the true and speed scale is here on the left side, and the true and angle scale is at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to create my line. Tools, New, line, similar type of configuration menu, and I will call this Reef 1, and I'll put that in a new group, which I also want to call Reef. And I might have the line be solid, and I'll make it a bit thicker. Click OK. Here's that line. Um, it now appears in the bottom part of the uh, right window here, under the lines group. Now, I can't see all the points, so I might use my shortcut menu up there to pan a little bit up. Here we go, I can see everything now. And I will start moving around my points for my line. And say the reef starts around 20 knots. And then as you go more and more downwind, you can keep the full main. And I'll leave it like this. Right. And same, similarly, I can change, move my reef label. Well, we've seen uh, most of the basics. Um, it's always interesting to have a different view of things. And so you can click on the polar tab. And here it is. Here's my polar format of what I've just done. Right, so I've done my first crossover. And how do I go about, about saving it? Well, it's pretty easy. You just click like any program on file, and save, and then you will be prompted for a destination and I'll call it crossover.xml, it's a very good name, click save. And this will have sold, uh, saved my groups and my two cells and my reef line. I might, for other reasons, decide to save my cell 2 um, independently, in which case I click on cell 2, save element, 
and save it as say, uh, cell 2. Now the advantage of that is that I might have any number of different cells in different uh, little files which I can then send to someone else or that can, I can then combine myself however I want to. Well, this will conclude the first basic tutorial.